Hey guys, it's Jelly Scrub here, and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to do probably a around 10 minutes of my first playthrough of this game called Train Valley. So, without further ado, let's go straight into it. Let's head into the Netherlands. Right, so we're in. So mission objective: dispatch at least one additional train, build 46 or more track tiles, and earn at least five thousand dollars. So let's start. Right. So I've never played this game before. Okay. Oh, it's gonna give me a tutorial. Complete the track by dragging tracks from a green tile. So click on this. And like that, I guess. Mad, so now we are fin building in the line. Oh, and we're gonna build another route. Oh, nope, like that. Mad. So I presume that's so that the we can have two trains going at each other at one time without them crashing. Demolish redundant. Yep. On your way. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you can stop and reverse it. Um, which I don't. Um, I'm just gonna presume that I did that right. So you can find this game on Steam. Um, I believe it is about ten US dollars. Um, so yeah. Um. I'm just having a look up on their website page and so I'll give you a quick description of the game. So it's build railways and, ooh, direct, yeah, I already knew that mate. Build railways in order to connect cities, tunnels and bridges. New railways are cheap when laid across bare fields but can become rather expensive when demolishing forests, villages and other existing structures. And by the time that guy got in, we've got a new train, ooh, some money. Oh, so the more, the faster it gets there, the more money you get. So you can manage increasing traffic by constructing crossroads, switches, circles, and figure eight intersections so that multiple trains can run without delay at the same time. That's what we've got here. So if a blue guy comes out of who? Ooh, speaking of which, we've got a new guy. Um, uh, let's add some track and maybe send off. Ooh. Ah, uh, go back. Maybe one there and one there. Hopefully that's enough. Alright, so you can go out. Uh, stay accident free by precise control of trains during critical moments. Using pause for planning, you could build railways and schedule trains while on pause. That's interesting. And you can play through four seasons. Europe from 1838 to 1980. America from 1840 to 1960, the Soviet Union from 1880 to 1980, and Japan from 1900 to 2020. So there's some futuristic stuff um, in the future. Well, that's what futuristic means, but yeah. Um, complete the story mode featuring such real life events such as the gold rush of 1849, the construction of the Florida Overseas Railway, World War II, the Cold War, the launch of First Managed States Flight, Vostok 1, and more. So something dinged. Did I miss anything? Oh no, that was just him finishing his run. Explore the game in different modes. In story mode, 5 to 10 minutes. In random mode, 15 to 20 minutes. The level looks and develops differently each time you launch. Or in a sandbox-like regime, can be turned on for both story and random modes, as allows to play without time and money limits. So we accomplished our mission. We dispatched it. Whoa. So that's... Did we not earn these? Perhaps we didn't earn these. Interesting. But let's finish that. So I, I guess that was wow, level one, very easy. So let's move on to level two. Don't allow a train to arrive at the wrong station. Dispatch at least three additional trains. Spend at least sixty thousand dollars. Okay. So we've got blue and red. So I guess we'll send. Can I? Oh, so I can't, I can't build over there. So we've got that, I guess. I guess that's all we're gonna need for now. Oh, we got yellow straight up. Okay. So we'll send. Um. Whoop. Um. Oh, this is kind of hard. Um. We'll send that in like that, and. 
one like that. So, oh, we've got a blue guy. Right, so we'll send him down. And last point is discover 15 types of trains, from the early sting-powered locomotives to the modern high-speed trains, driving 18 types of cars, from old-time passenger cars to hoppers and cisterns, and to military use tanks and gun platforms. So we've got a yellow here, we'll send him up along his way. So this game is very sort of relaxing from um, what I've played so far. The music is very relaxing, and if you're into trains and stuff, which I am, uh, you'll be able to enjoy it. So, as I said before, it's just $10 on Steam. I picked it up for free from the key mailer. I will have a video on that coming out soon. But yeah, so we've got a red guy. He can come out. Oh, oh so that's, that's kind of cool. So, the more that stations get used, the more things pop up. Because, as you might have seen, this little house wasn't here before. And then he just... Popped out of nowhere and I need to send him that way. Ooh, that was close. I don't know how much I have spent. I don't know if I have spent enough. Because it said spend. No, I haven't. I've spent 35,000. Um, how do I just spend more? I'm too, I'm too good for these early levels. Oh. That was kind of a uh, bad spot. Let's delete that one. I was trying to get it so that it could... Ah, like that. So that if I send it along that way, it's like a second point of turning back ability. And that one there as well. And... Oh, it's a little bit awkward. There. So we can just send them in circles. Yeah. Oh, we got a yellow. So I'll send up up along this outer ring here. Come on, mate, go faster. Is there a speed up button? I can. Speed up. So our steam train just turned into like a bullet train. Oh, we've got green now. Interesting. I'm gonna slow that way down. I'm gonna send him off as well. And so we've got green. Um, I guess we'll head him into there, and then that can head into that. Yeah, I spent lots of money. Right, where I heard... Oh no, that was just... Again, he just went in there. So, yeah, they can come out here and then head up into any direction they want. It's like a roundabout or something. Well, at least that's what we say in Australia. I'm not sure <laughs> what you Americans and Europeans call it. But a roundabout, so yeah. Even if he, say, this guy wanted to go to the blue and I missed that, I can send him up and through here and then sort of go around this little roundabout kind of thing. Pretty much just a circle in the middle that they can all go around on. And then if they're going to do a head-on or something... Actually, how do you stop trains? Do you just click on them? Oh, yeah. Keep going, mate. Go, go, go. I don't want to waste money. So this guy, we've got a green. I'll head him up here. Go faster! But this game is very relaxing. Oh, we've got a red... Flying! And we've got a green. So we'll be able to use our roundabout now. I'm gonna send him up... Ah! Uh, ah, uh, no! No, no! Ah! Oh, too fast! I was... That was... Uh, I failed. Ah, uh, they're all... Uh, it's all it's all chaos. What's happening? What's happening? No, it's all broken down. It all went wait. Oh, they're all just coming out of nowhere. What is happening? I've just lost it. Oh, oh man. Um um um. Yeah, you mate. Um um. You, you can go there. Um, go that way. Um. And you... Oh, the... the, the, the ah! Go. Um, um, um. Yeah, just stop. And then... And then... And then... Ah. Uh, uh, are we going to let this guy go? Come on. Mate, get out of the way. Just go faster. Go, 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 go. Right. Go, go, go. Go. Mush. Go... Faster! 
fly along. So, other than that little bit of a mayhem, yeah. Oh, I did that. I still didn't even manage to spend $60,000. I'm too good at the game. But, that's my quick first little look at Train Valley. So, link to it, the Steam page for this game will be down in the description below. Head over and check it out. It's a pretty fun game if you've just got the $10 for that. Nice relaxing game if you're stressed or whatever. Or just sit down and build a railway empire, as it were. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching this quick little first impressions. And I'll see you all in the next one.